Hey guys, Fox Recon here with a Chevrolet repair. Uh, this is a 2011 Chevy Express van, 6.0 liter. I think it's a three quarter ton. Regardless, it's going to be the same. This is a cargo van, so it's got all the seats in the front, right? Uh, the compl complaint for this guy is the door lock as you're driving down the road will constantly just make this sound. Hopefully, that comes through clear. Um, and what, uh, after some diagnostic, trying to figure out which circuit it was. Uh, my scan tool tells me it is the passenger door lock, uh, unlock signal, that's a grounding signal, coming from, uh, the pa it says passenger door lock on the data bed, but you look up the wiring diagram and you realize that not only is that the passenger, does it run from the passenger front door lock to the body control module that tells it to unlock or, un lock or unlock depending on the wire you use. But it comes all the way back here into the cargo door where there's another one. So it says passenger door lock, but it's not really. Which should lead you to trace down the wires. And in this case, it's a chafed wire. Uh, there's probably a lot more symptoms that can happen depending on which wire chafes. Mine was the unlock uh, lock circuit. Um, yours could be the tail lights or anything else coming back in this this section. Um, it's pretty easy. You take this guy off, little, little panels. Look down in here and I suspect this is a problem they're having all over the place because if you will look down right there, there is a very sharp crossbar for the seat belt. Um, it's a stabilizing bar, but it's very, very sharp on the edges. And on mine, you can kind of see right there, I'll try, try to twist this around for you. The, thankfully it didn't, it didn't pop a fuse, it just grounded it, which you see that little light blue wire right there has got a rub spot in it. Right there. And that is what's causing the door locks to go crazy. So, um, easy fix in this case, wire isn't really even damaged. We're going to take that guy and wrap it up in some electrical tape. Reprotect it because it's going over that really sharp piece of metal with some loom. Just push that split loom around it, wrap it up with electrical tape, good to go. Thanks guys. Bye. Hope this helped.